EVs reached an incredible new record in 2022. 13% of all cars sold all over the entire world were fully electric. Here were the top seven best selling car manufacturers of electric cars in 2022. No plug in hybrids, just EVs, my friends, in this list. Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back. Everyone else, thank you for tuning in. Thank you to our Patreon supporters and our YouTube members in 2022. You made everything possible. We really owe a lot to you guys. If you'd like to become a Patreon supporter in 2023, I'll put a link in the description below or become a YouTube member. I'll put a link there for that as well. Now, if you'd like to join our Facebook group, you can too. And I'll put a link in the description for that one. Who are the best selling automakers in the world? Well, if you've been listening to the media, you might be misled. In fact, no, you wouldn't, maybe. You definitely would be misled because they continue to publish numbers which include hybrids and claim they're electric cars. Yeah. Now, let's imagine this thing here, right? This old piece of junk. Let's imagine that this thing, which is electric, isn't it? Has a battery, right? Let's imagine that this had a motor in it. Now, would that still be an electric mobile phone? Global plug-in vehicle registrations were up 46% in November 2022, and I believe up even more than that in December, based on some of the preliminary sales data I've seen so far, compared to last year. Now, they reached nearly 1.1 million registrations for the first 11 months of the year. That's a new record and it beats the 1 million registrations of the previous month of September. And before we look at the best selling manufacturers of electric cars in 2022, let's have a look at the best selling EV models for the first 11 months of 2020. Now I'm gonna only list the EVs, not the plug-in hybrids, not the hybrids, not the whatever brids, what do you want, whatever you wanna talk about, right? This is just EVs. First place, Tesla Model Y, 675,000. Second place, Tesla Model 3, 411,000. Third place was the Wuling Hongwan Mini EV with 390,000. So Mary Barra, you did it. You made the world electrify. Congratulations, Mary Barra. Um, hang on a minute. Really, Mary Barra? What am I talking about? Tesla, thank you. You've actually, well, let's be fair. It was really Tesla who pretty much pushed most of the West to electrify. Not just Tesla, there were some others, but I don't think Mary had a lot to do with it. What are your thoughts on that? Anyhow, third, Wuling Hongwan Mini EV. Now the Wuling Hongwan Mini EV now has a convertible version. That thing is so insanely popular in China that you have to enter a lottery to buy one. A lottery, yeah. Check out my video on that. I'll put a link in the description below to that video. Next up, after the Wuling Hongwan Mini EV, which if you're wondering what that car is, I'll put some more links in the description. You can check out the videos on that car, was the BYD Dolphin. Now, there was a few other BYD vehicles. In fact, there was three other models of BYD vehicles that sold more than the Dolphin, but those were a combination of electric and plug-in hybrid sales. Therefore, they didn't actually beat the Dolphin in terms of purely EV sales. The Dolphin delivered 180,000 worldwide, which is a pretty damn good number considering BYD have just really just started selling that car not all that long ago. There is a chance that in 2024, maybe even 2023, it'll be the best selling EV in the world. Why? It's affordable. Why? Because BYD plan on selling it in about 50 different countries. And realistically, BYD and other world's second largest battery manufacturer, they had the capability to make, well, to make many, many hundreds of thousands, maybe even up to a million of those. So it's gonna be really interesting to see what happens. BYD, fourth place with the Dolphin. Next was the BYD Yen Plus or the BYD Addo 3, as it's known outside of China, with 174,000 deliveries. Deliveries for that vehicle will also increase massively in 2023. Why? Because BYD also is selling that car, Europe, Australia, New Zealand, Singapore, Thailand, uh, obviously China, a number of other Latin American countries. Yeah, they're selling that thing everywhere. Brazil, India, they're actually manufacturing them in India. And also, like I said, 
Consider the fact that BYD make their own batteries, they're vertically integrated, they can ramp production of EVs way faster than any Ford, sorry, Toyota, sorry, Volkswagen, sorry, you're all ruled out. Ramping production for you guys, you've proven is just way too difficult. Tesla and BYD seem to be doing a much better job of it. BYD clearly is ramping at an insane pace. So who are the biggest manufacturers? When it comes to the, well, the losers, the legacy auto companies are still losing, to be fair. None of them are in the top five. The Volkswagen ID4 was behind another BYD EV in seventh place with 147,000 deliveries. Now, the Volkswagen ID4 was the only purely electric car which sold in the top 15 and came from a legacy automotive manufacturer. There was no other legacy auto company, meaning there was nothing from Toyota, nothing from Ford, nothing from GM, etc., 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 which placed in the top 15. Only the ID4. The rest of them, Chinese vehicles or Tesla vehicles. There you go. Now, if you include plug-in hybrids in your list, BYD was the best-selling manufacturer of plug-ins and EVs. With 1.6 million, Tesla with their 1.15 million, of course, EVs only. Volkswagen Group, combination, 705,000. SAIC, 652,000. And Geely Volvo with 516,000. Now, truthfully, I'm going to have to give you a proviso for Volkswagen and explain why these Volkswagen numbers, Volkswagen Group numbers, are very inaccurate. They're stealing sales from another manufacturer and claiming them for themselves meaning that other manufacturer who actually makes the cars doesn't get credited with the sale. In my opinion, that isn't reasonable. Now let's have a look at the top best-selling purely EV manufacturers. Well, not purely EV manufacturers, but the total sales of EVs from the top seven manufacturers in the world. First place was Tesla by a significant margin with 1.15 million. BYD was in second with 800,000 or well, 801,640. Third place was SAIC with 606,000. Fourth, the Volkswagen Group with 477,000. Big difference to the 700,000 when you include plug-in hybrids, right? Thing is, right, many countries around the world, they're ending their plug-in hybrid subsidies. Those plug-in hybrid sales for Volkswagen, they could continue. But based on current trends, more than likely, they will go down. Fifth place was Geely Volvo. And in sixth place was Hyundai Kia. Now, Hyundai Kia dropped a spot from fifth to sixth because they lost fifth position to Geely Volvo. In seventh place was GAC, which, yeah, I mean, you probably haven't heard of, but if you pay attention to this channel, I do talk about their sales here and how they're doing an insanely good job at ramping production. Of these manufacturers, who is more likely to continue holding on to fifth place out of Hyundai Kia? And Volvo, Geely, well, clearly it's Geely Volvo. I mean, they have Zika, Polestar, Volvo. They have even other brands that you haven't even heard of. They're ramping production, they say, at an insane pace. They want to double production within the space of one year. Double it. And I think there's a good chance they actually will. Now, let's have a look at Volkswagen Group sales. Now, remember, these Volkswagen Group EB sales, they're not Volkswagen brand. They're Volkswagen Group. So they include Audi, Skoda, you know, all the Volkswagen brands. There's a whole bunch of them. But those sales also include vehicles made by FAW and SAIC. Well, actually, there's a few Chinese companies who make Volkswagen's EVs for them in China. So even though it's not that many, it's about 100,000 or about a quarter of these sales, the reality is Volkswagen Group doesn't make them themselves. Their Chinese partners make them for them, meaning Volkswagen Group makes 50% of the profit from those vehicles. The Chinese partners make 50%. Now, of all these top five, they're the only company in this list who depend on somebody else to make their EVs for them. And in fact, they now want Magna to manufacture their Scout EVs, their SUVs, maybe even their pickup trucks that they plan on making because they're not in a position to do it themselves. So it's worth considering these EV sales numbers not entirely accurate because that means that they're taking away the sales from another company, attributing to them to themselves, and then that company gets nothing. I think the fair way to do that would be to give half to Volkswagen Group, half to the Chinese automakers because, to be honest, they own 50-50 joint partnerships. That's just my opinion. What are your thoughts on that? So as you can see, 
when it comes to electric manufacturing right now, Tesla's still leading. Will BYD surpass them in 2023? It is possible. And if you listen to global media, they'll love to tell you the shock horror story that yes, it's going to happen. Definitely, it will happen. Um, Tesla should be very scared of BYD, but I don't think it should be the, the way we look at it. I think we should look at this as it's not a zero sum game. What does that mean? That means there's a huge pie, huge pie of global car sales. We're looking at about 78 million car sales per year, about 75 million now. And that means, right, that EVs still represent only 13% of that 78 million sales per year. They have another 87% of sales that they can take away from legacy automakers, from Japanese automakers who make barely any EVs, right? From European automakers, which still don't make all that many EVs either. There's a huge pie for them to target. They're not necessarily eating each other's sales. They're eating the sales from manufacturers who are basically making gas-powered vehicles, which are basically these. Now, it's worth considering this as well. Of the top five manufacturers making the most EVs, four of them are essentially Chinese car companies. You're probably thinking, what do you mean four? I mean, Tesla's there. They're not Chinese. Hang on a minute. How many cars does Tesla make in China? Yep, they make more cars in China than everywhere else in the world combined. So we might as well just call them a Chinese car company. I know people are going to get outraged from that, but you know, it doesn't matter. It's just some terminology. Four out of those five are primarily manufacturing their cars in China. China is actually taking over the global automotive industry. It's happening very, very quickly. And if I was the United States government, I'd be very concerned about this. I'd be wanting to preserve my IRA and make sure that it only applies to cars made in America and not to cars made in other countries. The rules have been changed now. And ironically, vehicles actually made in America don't even qualify anymore. Those include the Mustang Mach-E and the Tesla Model Y. That, in my opinion, is truly bizarre. But that's for another story and another day. Thanks for listening. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Bye-bye.